Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to replace a BIOS battery and a few things around that subject. Now, uh, BIOS battery replacement is a very old subject and everybody knows how to replace a battery. It's a very fundamental thing, but I decided to show it to you just in case if you need to know something. Now, this is a motherboard with already a BIOS battery that's been installed. It, BIOS battery is pretty big uh, stuff and it's shiny so it should be easy for you to find out the battery from this one and uh, and before i go further now its pieces are mostly oriented in this way so the battery is going to be placed here i always suggest that no matter how good of an expert you are try to put put the case on the sideways place it down so the motherboard is facing down so that what I, why i'm saying that is this battery is loaded with a spring kind of a spring uh, retention system so to hold it there now, also the reason why I'm telling you to keep it flat is I suggest you do not remove the power completely while replacing the battery though the experts would say that removing is necessary the reason why is sometimes the motherboard might retain its settings if you remove the battery and put it back really quick because it doesn't allow it to be discharged so if you're going to replace the battery make sure you have the new battery available ready with you and the new battery is the cr2032 uh, which is the correct battery for 99.9% .9 motherboard so make sure you have the battery in hand and once you have it take it out keep it aside be ready so with everything connected pc is powered down but connected to the power you need something like a flat blade screwdriver to get this done right and what you need to do is you need to for the sake of showing it to you i'm going to show this here you need to bring it up here so the battery pops up you saw that the battery could have ejected but because i was careful it popped up now you can actually lift it off do not drop the battery inside because this still has probably three volts and this falling could cause a shot we don't want that to happen so because i told it not not to remove the power there could be some power running in the system so you took the battery out you put it away you bring the new battery and the new battery would look something like this uh, this is the negative and this is the positive terminal so how do you place it almost the same way you took it out you can see there is a locking mechanism here and this is the actual lock so you place it here and then you press it down in this side over here you heard the sound it's in place everything is good and we are good to go uh, with this pc now let me show you something if you have any issues with the bios and you feel the battery is bad or you are not sure how do you know the battery is working or not if you have a multimeter it's excellent because then you can use the multimeter to actually check the battery so let's see what we can do with the battery so if you have a multimeter put it in the 20 volt setting this is dc current and then you take the positive lead of this one and make sure it's in z it shows zero and then uh, take the positive lead and put it in the back side take the negative and put it in the other side if you bring it together you should be able to get 3 volts or more 2.9 2.8 still I'm pretty sure the battery is still working but 3 volts means this battery is still good to be used if it is brand new it's going to be more than 3.9 or 8 volts now if you are removing the battery from a very old used PC I suggest that you take a brush and clean this area slightly so the dusts can be removed and it gets an excellent contact with the connector and when you put the battery back in once again this is how we're going to put it back and that's it so that's pretty much on how you will install the bios battery if the bios settings are gone you need to go into the bios and set it back so always before you remove the battery make a copy or make a note take a phone go into bios settings which is right over here take a picture of these bios settings all of the main configurations if you don't have much of these especially the hard drive configuration take a picture of these things and make sure the boot setting boot order is also set up correctly so that you do not have any problem uh, with uh, the PC after you do the BIOS battery replacement. So that's pretty much. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed and you learned something today. Thank you.